All right, so I just did some reconditioning on this board. New sockets in here, new caps. Um, I reflowed all the solder on all of the headers, these and everything. Cleaned, cleaned my work. This board is, uh, I don't know, just old stubbornish solder. But that's that board. And I have reconditioned this guy as well. New caps. The 10 UF caps have been replaced. Reflowed all of the solder. I did not clean this one yet. I did not. You can see it's still a mess a little bit. But I reflowed all of those. I need to go look at the schematic because this cap was broken off. And this was a 10 microfarad, uh, same as that right here but I want to go look at the schematic and see what these actually are these are filtering the power so they might very well be 10 microfarad this one right here goes to pin 6 and 9 of this guy so I want to look at that and see what that cap is that one actually I think was broken and missing it's probably a tantalum it's probably the same as that maybe one of those I don't know and I have checked all of these, and none of these other tantalums are shorted yeah, yet. But, uh, yeah, who knows. It's just the higher... That one was a filter. This is the one I replaced, that one that was short. That was a 12-volt filter. The 12-volt, I don't know what it is, but those tantalums do not like that higher voltage. They always short or blow up on 12-volt rails. So, yeah interesting what are you doing looking like a big raccoon out there hey what are you doing hello hello beak boo boo what you doing yeah we call her beaky boo boo uh, you guys on the channel have known her as Boo Boo, but she's uh, she has a few names here. We call her Beaky, Beaky Boo Boo, Binky Baby, all kind of goofy names. Right, Boo? Right? What you doing? You come to join me? Hey, Boo, say something. Say something to all your fans, Boo. Yeah. Come on, Boo, say something to your fans. Say hey. Yeah. Stage fright. She's always got to have the higher ground. She's got to climb up on stuff. Right, Beak? All right. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm going to do that tonight. I'm going to figure out what caps to put in the board up in these areas. And by golly, dare I say, we'd be ready to fire this thing up. So, all right. Go ahead and do a little schematic research. And we'll come back and put some caps in this thing and fire it up. It has... Um, a 10 volt if you remember come on now if you remember this thing has a 10 volt power input I believe yeah yeah see that it's got a 10 volt input that's for those customs now I know for a fact that that voltage was revised to 8.5 volts they quit running those customs on 10 volts. 
and started running them on 8.5 after Astrocade, I think. After the uh, Bally Astrocade home version or whatever. I think they started uh, realizing that the, the voltage was too high and it was causing too much... It was just too much pressure with the current, pushing the current along in those ICs, and it was killing them. Running too hot, it was making too much electronic friction inside of those, inside of those chips, if you will. So they backed the voltage down to 8.5 volts in the Gorf Wizard of War era. And uh, so I'm not using 10 volts on there. I'm using eight regulated 8 volts, which will usually run about 8.2 volts on my thing. I have here a, on my power supply, on my AR, I have where the 15 and negative 15 go in, I ran wires up. And I had a request to go over my whole setup, and I might do that. I might make a video just documenting for everyone my whole entire setup and the theory behind it and how everything works. Comment below if you would like to see that. And uh, yeah, if I get enough comments saying that they would like to see a documentation, of an in-depth kind of thing, then I'll do it. But it'd be kind of a... It's a lot of research because because I got a lot going on with this. Anyway, just another thing I have these ARs have a a blank spot for 15 and negative 15 volt regulators. Well, I ran wires out to the heat sink with these connectors. See, and I have there's my negative 15 and 15 regulators, and all I have to do is move these plugs around. Well, these two. I can move these two around. This one's negative 15. Now I could put like a negative 8 and use this and just plug it into the negative 8 or negative 9, whatever. I have an 8 volt positive and 15 volt positive. If I want to run 8 volts positive to a board, I just move that over to the 8 volts. If I need 15 volts instead, then I can move it over to the 15 volts. And I have a pin on here that connects to that. So yeah, so I'm going to be running a regulated 8 volts to those chips, not 10 volts. So yeah, um, excellent. Yeah, let me go ahead, we'll go ahead and figure out those caps, get that all situated, and we'll be back. Okay, so I have this thing all put together. Data, address, I.O., Z80. Put this board on here. All my new caps. Um, I looked this board up. Let me take this out really quick. Ugh. Okay. I took this board and I uh, got all the 10 microfarad capacitors installed in it. And these ones underneath the heat sink were also 10 microfarad. So I got those in there. So this thing's good to go. I got my reset pin run. You can see that yellow wire that is for the Z80 reset. My, my reset circuit that I have right here. Yeah, so I'll put this back in here. Okay, that's in. We're hooked up. I've got this thing switched over to 8 volts. So we're powering the customs with 8 volts instead of 10. I've went through and made sure I beeped out everything and made sure that all of the power um, power connections were right on the board and everything. Everything's good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and fire this thing up. I got the uh, black and white hooked up.
So we'll see what happens. It is now on. Let's see what happens here. Okay. So it is resetting. So we have a CPU failure issue, a CPU side error. Okay. So we can go ahead and put the fluke on this, the Z80 fluke pod, and see what we can see. I guess I can. Let's put this up on the tripod. Right? And kind of maneuver it over a little bit. And let's check our voltages. Make sure the voltages are all great. Right? Okay, let's see what we got. Here. Find a ground. This is probably ground. Okay, here's negative. That's five volts. Ground. Five volts is good. 503. Here is negative five. Twelve. And of course five. So our voltages are good. And I want to check the eight volt too. Um is this it? Yeah, that is the voltage that's powering our customs. So instead of ten volts, my regulated eight volts is actually down to seven point seven volts. And that's and you can see it looks okay. I don't know if it's not running because of that. I doubt it. I think that these will run just fine at 7.7 .7 volts, is my guess. They'll definitely run a lot cooler. So I'm happy with that, for now anyway. Until I have to move on to thinking that that's causing an issue. I really don't think that that's causing an issue at all. Yeah, so. We could have a ROM problem. I mean, this could be as simple as, boom. There it is. That's it, guys. And you can see this is supposed to be in color. It, it, is it's got the uh, the same signals, the RY and BY that you send to that little board right there to make it color. This is just the gray scale. But that's it. Awesome. I could adjust this a little bright, you know, brighten it up a little bit and you can see it better. But it's working. That's it. Yeah, I just had to adjust this a little bit, push it down a little bit. That was all. Cool. That's good. That means all of the RAM are good because it's working. So all I have to do is figure... I have to figure running the uh, the soundboard, the sounds, and, you know, I might just go through... You know what I think I'm going to do? I'm just going to blanket replace all of the 3,900 amps. And then make sure that these amps are good. I'm going to go over this board and find out how many 3900s are on it. Socket and replace them. Make sure all the sounds are good. i got to power this board. Um, and that kind of stuff. But yeah, that's awesome. Excellent. Okay, cool. Next thing... Make a harness for up here, power this board, and send it to the speakers, 
and uh, get some sounds going. I think the first thing I'm going to do, because those 3900s are so problematic, those op amps, the sound op amps, is I like to just replace all of them. And uh, start with new, fresh 3900 op amps, because they're bound to fail anyway if I don't. So I'm going to go ahead and get those things replaced. And then we can test to make sure we got good amps and all that good stuff. So cool. Yeah. You know what? Should I? You know what? Let's make this part two. Let's stop this right now. This is successful. We're going to end on a good note. Part two will end. Part three will be soundboard stuff. All right. See ya back with part three.